Well, it's time for uh, CAT 2 testing. These are the meters that survived the first round of the CAT 1 test. We have the Ampro AM510. We have the B&K Precision 2703. The Unity, the UT90A. The XTEC MN10 series. The Klein MN500. And last but not least, the Fluke 101. So these meters made it through a 2 kV surge with a 50 ohm source with a 2 microsecond rise 10 microsecond decay into a dead short not a lot of energy so I'm not too amazed I would have thought they would have all passed this the fact that uh, we had a few that didn't I'd say uh, yeah whatever so the next step here is I'm basically keeping everything the same except we're going to a 14 ohm source impedance from a 50. So this is going to increase the energy quite a bit. And we'll just rerun the test and depending on what happens there, we'll increase it to uh, 4 kV. Okay, so we're going to start with the AM probe. This is the AM510. And again, we're just going to switch this over to use this 12 ohm resistor. And again, this is in series with uh, two ohms inside of the transient generator, giving a 14 ohm source impedance. This meter was already functionally tested, as they all were. Any of the ones that passed had to be functional tested. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Looks like the AMP probe made it through, passes functional test. This is the AM510. So the first meter down. And we have the BNK 2703C.
that's it for this meter. We'll go ahead again and functional test it. Okay, the BNK Precision 2703C looks like it passes the first round of CAT2 testing. Here we have the Unity UT90A. Okay, the Unity uh, UT90A passes the test. Everything appears to still be functional. Again, this is the XTEC. This is the MN16A. but testing. The 
MN16A X-Tech seems to pass the test. It's all functional. It'll go on to the next test. Next up is the Klein Tools MM500. Again, this is a no frills meter. It appears the Klein Tools MM500 is good. Uh, I'd say that it passes this test just fine. And again, last but not least, our little Fluke 101. Fourteen ohm source impedance. Two thousand volts. Okay, it looks like our Fluke uh, 101 passes this test as well. I've just completed testing at the 2000 volts with the 14 ohm source impedance. Uh, rather than going to 4000 volts with the 14 ohm, I'm just going to stay at 2000 volts and go to the 2 ohm source. So I'm thinking that these last 6 meters are probably pretty hardened. Uh, they should survive all the way up to here. And again, what I'm hitting them with is uh, actually quite light. So we'll start here. Assuming they all survive, we'll go to the 4,000 volts at uh, 2 ohms and let's just see what happens. <laughs> 